Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Romblon. Today this is going to be like a travel guide and funds Friday all in one. So basically we're taking a different approach. Yeah, so today we're going to show you where you arrive in Romblon, where to eat in Romblon, how to get out of Romblon and the things to do in Romblon. And at the very end, we're going to basically put on the screen at the end how much we spent for everything. So you know, it's like your comprehensive guide guys, so you don't get stuck when you're here. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. yeah, so the first things first is the port that you arrive on. So basically, oh. you arrive. Hey, Hello. man. Hey. So we, right, yeah, you arrive at this port here. Look. All right, guys, everything we talk about today, guys, will be linked down below. So you can just ha click it and find your way there. Right. So when you come into Romblon, you'll come here. And when you exit Romblon, you come here. Yeah. So obviously guys, that's the port, that's how you get to Tablas, Batangas, Manila. Um, anywhere you want to go. Yeah, anywhere you go. So there's the port, link down below on the maps, so and then just over here, behind us is the Tugo, Tugo Travel Centre, so you can buy your, your tickets there, your travel tickets for the boats, and also, just on the corner there, I don't know if you can see it, just on the corner there, we'll, we'll go over there now. Yeah, this, this here guys, just opposite the port, is the Montenegro office. Look at this massive office. This is where you buy the boats for Montenegro. And the Montenegro goes to Od, uh, Tablas and um, Batangas. Yeah, so let's go to the next one. Right guys, and this is the Navios ticket and shipping office. So here they go to S Romblon to Saboyan and Romblon to Batangas. So yeah, and you get a free meal and all the prices are here, look. Right guys, so up next door to Tugo, this Tugo travel, is this little desk here, and that's the little boat to Tablas. That's the 100 pesos only to go over to Tablas, San Austin. So that's the cheaper version, or you, when you get a Tugo option, it takes you to the capital of Tablas, like Oji, Ojijan. Oji, how do you say it? Ojijan. Oji, I don't know. Ojijan. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll Odi, name. Odi Janan. And we'll link it on the maps now. Bing. Cool. Right, so there. Now you know where you're arriving in, how to get out, what ships to go for. So now we're going to give you a top tip. So basically, when you arrive at this port, all the places they charge you, obviously, there's a tricycles. Tricycles, 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 tricycles. But instead of getting a tricycle, you come to this bike shop and rent it. Everywhere on the island is 500 pesos for a one day motorbike basically. So instead of paying like 300, 200 in a tricycle to your homestay, just get a bicycle guys. Get your own little scooter. So we're going to take you there now. Right guys, this is where we hired a motorbike from. This is yeah, James, huh? That's Joey. A, oh, Joey, that's Joey, not James. That's Joey. This is, this, this is the brand new motorbike that we rented. Look at that. Well cheap. And his, his shop's called Brum Brum. This is what it looks like. And that's the owner. So make sure you come here and get a bike from the guy. That's right, man. And if, you, and, if you, and if you're any good at chess, you can play chess with him. <laughs> Next door to Joey's is the laundry shop. Next door to Joey's is what? The laundry shop. So for eight kilograms maximum, you can get your wash, folded and dried for three pounds sixty. Full serve. Or you can do it. Or you can do it yourself. But go for this one. show you where to eat. All the good places to eat are located in this circle.
At the best base that we know, next to our hostel, kind of about 10 minutes away from our hostel bike. Look at this, it's called Yums. <laughs> yeah guys, they got a menu here, it's really cheap and it's amazing food. So this is our number one spot to eat in Romblon. It might be only like a 10 minute drive from the town but it's worth the drive right guys so now we're gonna tell you the things to do in Romblon so as you can see our choice for number one is the San Andreas Fort it's the free entry as well and it has amazing views of the town and at sunset this spot is supposed to be spectacular so make sure you check this one out number two obviously the famous Bon Bon Beach how could you go to Romblon and not see Bon Bon Beach also it's free entry again so make sure you check that out Look at that ocean, look at that water. Oh, crystal clear water. And you were the only tourist there. So yeah, make sure you check that one out. Right guys, this is where the church road viewpoint starts. Obviously it's a church, but whoop, church. And now we literally just drive up this road here, Marble Road, and then we see where it takes us. So let's go, let's go and have a look. So drive along this road for about 10, 15 minutes, and then you'll come to a point where you cannot pass because it is there's been a landslide recently. So literally, yeah, just walk up. You see that green hill up there? Look at these views, 360 views as well. Look at that's the road you walk up there, guys, that long road. Easy, Alice do it, anyone can do it. Kipot River, so now this is a little bit of a hidden hidden gem in Romblon. So the Kipot River, as you can see, is a river that runs through like this canyon. So basically make sure you bring your swim shoes, your swimming stuff, because this little area here is really cool. But if you go want to go exploring, then you can follow the river for lots more. And as you're about to see, it just goes on and on and on and on and on but it gets deep in some spots this is the really deep the really deep bit i couldn't get through there guys this is the entry as well you go along this road until you see this house and this shop and literally park your bike there where the dog was and make your way down the hill right guys another little hidden thing that we noticed when we was in romblon is that Romblon is actually the marble capital of the Philippines. This means that all of the marble that the Philippines get is pretty much comes from here. So as you can see that there was a big saw there and all throughout the day they're, they're chopping it down, they're grinding away, they're making, you know, like this guy here is making a desk, uh, like a tabletop for people. He literally, they're at it all day along this road. It's on the east of the island. It's like Everywhere you go, look, and then there's, there's tiles, and these, these guys were here were polishing them up for sale. It's a very nice surprise, even if you just get them open and stop for about half an hour, just watch them all at work. But yeah, it's definitely worth visiting. <laughs> 